What up? It's your girl, Sharice, and I have a very talented young man on the line. Probably one of the most talented millennials in the industry. You may have heard his voice on the cartoon movie Brother Bear, or you probably saw him growing up on one of the dopest sitcoms in the early 2000s, The Bernie Mac Show. And that's no other than Mr. Jeremy Suarez. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? It's good to hear you. Thank you, Sharif, for such an awesome introduction. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, and I really appreciate you coming on my show. No problem. No problem at all. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Well, we're going to jump right in. So everyone knows you from the sitcom The Bernie Mac Show. But you've been in the industry for a very long time. You've had appearances on The Wayans Brothers, Sister Sister, and you also had a role in the, on the series Chicago Hope. When did you actually get your start? Ooh, man, I got to start um, like forever ago. I've been acting since <laughs> I was a baby. Like, I literally did Pampers commercials. Um, wow. And I was like six months and I started talking. And so my great grandmother literally took me on a bus um, to a manager's office. And she was like, hey, this baby talks and he's got pinchable cheeks and the rest is history. <laughs> wow. So, as a, like, from a baby, from diapers yeah. to an yeah. adult. So, you've been in your entire life pretty much. Yeah, I can't remember my life without without acting. Wow. That's amazing. So, um, yeah. how was life for you as a child actor? Did you have a normal life offset? There's always been that, like, place for me in my life where I was always just a normal person. And I've really enjoyed my life as an actor. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. Because you have so many once in a lifetime experiences that are just unforgettable growing up in the industry. That mm-hmm. I know a lot of people have like with it and separating that and enjoying that and you know being that normal person, but I never mm-hmm. did. Wow, that's, def- that's definitely different. Um, you're from California. What part? Mm-hmm. I'm from Pasadena, California. Um, I lived there almost my entire life. I moved around um, as a teenager, like, to different parts of California, but, I mean, Pasadena is home. Okay. So, you're still friends with, like, some of your childhood friends? Oh, yeah. Like, we, like, once we're friends, we're friends forever. And, like, me, I've always been really close to the cousins and siblings so we're always Mm -hmm. like that's my core group okay so so that means that uh since we became friends before this interview we'll be friends forever after this yeah when you're out in california you call me you can you can come and and sleep on the couch and we'll go to the beach oh man it'll be so awesome (laughs) well i'm down for it man (laughs) i love the beach it is (laughs) um What's your most all-time favorite thing to do on the West Coast and why? Ooh, man, there's so many things I love, but I think my all-time favorite is scuba diving. Um, wow. I've been diving since I was like, uh, 11 or 12 years old. Like, for one of my birthdays, my my parents got me uh, lessons, and so I got certified, and so I just love to get in the water, and it's a... It's like magical down there, especially like in the kelp forest. Mm-hmm. It's something you can't describe to people unless you see it yourself. Wow. I've never been scuba diving, so maybe when I come to visit, you and your wife can take me. Hey, if you can swim, you can scuba dive. <laughs> cool. Um, how did the audition process go as far as getting your role on the Bernie Mac show? Um, well, the interview process for the Bernie Mac show was kind of unique because mm-hmm. there were so many um, more auditions, I suppose, than like any other project I think I've ever been in. We wow. have one or two auditions that you normally have, like a, a interview and a callback. But then we also then met with the producers, and then on the same day, they actually called us 
and wanted to meet with a network executive. So wow. it was yeah, it was like five auditions um, in order to actually get the role. Okay, so it was a very quick process for you. Um, I mean, it lasted over the course of because as an actor, it's kind of weird because you have um, you'll have one audition and then sometimes it could take three weeks, a month for them to call you back if they have your second audition, depending on where they're at in production. Mm -hmm. um, but I do remember that once the Burning Mac um, that kind of had started like, the interview process, it was just a lot of auditions. Same role again, you know? It's really okay. unique. Um, so you, Camilla Wimbush, and Dee Dee Davis were like very, very young when you guys got your roles on the show. Uh, who was yeah. the prankster on set? We all were. I mean, we had, because on set, you just want, you make fun with what you're doing. And because we were so young, we always were having fun and it was such a fun <laughs> environment for it. So we were always messing around. Like, our favorite thing to do was to make funny faces behind the camera when people were trying to be serious. Oh, and it'd be man. It so funny to see them, like, struggle to ignore you. And then we'd go, I mean, we went all out. We had smoke bombs in the elevators. We had fake mm -hmm. rats hidden in the dressing room. I think we all, we all were about the... We're all about the same as in prankster levels. Okay, cool. Now, the show lasted till 2006, which means you started undergoing puberty and all that good stuff. Did your co-stars um, help you deal with the girl problems and uh, situations that you may have gone through as a preteen or a teenager? Girl problems? Or, yeah, you were, you were like 13 eventually on there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, not Didi, because she was too young. But yeah. Camille and I, I mean, we're, we're only six months apart in age, and we really do have this relationship that we can talk to each other about anything. So, mm -hmm. like, having them close by, because they're both uh, Camille and I mean, Didi, at the, Didi now, they're both real mm -hmm. smart, so I love having that, like, influence to kind of steer me in the right direction. That's cool. Okay. Now, uh, after the show, I'm pretty sure you guys kept in touch. It seems like you're, the way you're talking about it now. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think you can work with people f for, like, 60 years and not mm -hmm. have, like, a really special relationship with them, especially doing the job that we do. I mean, mm -hmm. we work together for five to six days out of the week for, like, eight hours a day. So I think they're always a special part of my in my life. Right. Uh, when Bernie Mac passed, uh, how did that affect you? I was shocked. I mean, I think everybody um, who knew Bernie was really shocked by his passing because he was always, like, put his best foot forward. And he was always mm -hmm. such a strong dude. And, you know, we found out after that he was he was really fighting to keep his good appearance because he wanted to make sure that everybody could continue working and doing what they were doing. And so we were just shocked when he passed. But wow. I'm just really happy that I got to, like, be a part of, you know, that legacy and, and be a part of just Bernie Mac's life, like, while he was here. Right. Um, after the Bernie Mac show, you started doing vo voiceovers. What sparked your interest in that field? Because that's totally another beast, man. <laughs> yeah, voiceovers is like, um, oh, I started off doing voiceovers, doing, doing mostly um, like radio commercials. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, over the years, I really started to enjoy it because even though... Um, an animation project or like a radio um, project. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought needed to kind of get it right it was so much fun for me to like, you know, play with and learn. Okay, cool. 
Um, did you audition for your role in uh, Brother Bear or did one of the directors reach out to you? Um, I auditioned for that role around the same time that I was also, um, we were just starting. Brother Bear took very long, so around like the same time we started Bernie Mac show, we were also starting Brother Bear, even though it took like five years to actually get on. Okay, wow. Now, I did some digging and I found out that you did a voiceover in Hey Arnold, which was yeah. actually one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Um, how does it feel knowing that you had something to do with such an iconic cartoon? That was really, really cool to me. I loved Hey Arnold. Um, mm -hmm. I loved SpongeBob. I loved Land Before Time. And at the end of the day, I can say I was a part of all, like, all three of those. And that's really that's cool to amazing. me. That's <laughs> amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and that's what's also really cool about voiceovers, because you can just be that voice in the background and really... Like, look at the project, look at the um, piece in some way, I suppose, you know? Right. Like, I always look back at SpongeBob, and I'm like, I love SpongeBob because I was on it, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, what role did you have in SpongeBob? I, um, I did, it was, it was one of the moves, it was like, Your phone went out, so we couldn't hear you. Could you repeat that one more time? Yeah. I was saying for um, for SpongeBob, I think it was during the first movie, they were doing, like, a whole bunch of commercials for it and a whole bunch uh -huh. of, like, voiceover work for it. And so I did some of that. And I actually got to work with, like, Tom Kenny. And it was so wow. cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, the latest movie that you were in was angry video game nerd are you into gaming or did you or were you as uh as a kid at all i'm a huge gamer um <laughs> i mean during that process like during that um audition process mm -hmm. i had met up with the producers they wanted to have a meeting with me and mm -hmm. it was actually going to be with the producers and james rolf and so i went and i was wearing my um it was a Blood Rain 2 t-shirt, which was like a like a really crappy um, PS2 game. And I walked into I walked into the meeting and he looks at my shirt and he goes, That's a terrible game. And he just starts <laughs> telling me all these facts about it. And he has like an encyclopedic knowledge of video games. And I already knew this was gonna be this was gonna be cool. Wow. I, I like gaming, but I wouldn't say I'm a gamer. I used to do it a lot as, as a kid, though. Uh, gaming school. Uh, now, as an adult, adult outside of acting, uh, what are you doing? You know, I saw on your Instagram that you have some skills with the guitar. That's pretty dope, man. That's pretty dope. Heck yeah. I can play basically anything with strings. I've been playing guitar since, man, since I was like, I've been 10 years old, you know? It's, um, it's just something that keeps me calm, and I love doing that. I play ukulele, I have a mandolin, wow. a bass, you know? Like, if it has strings, I can probably play it. I mean, that keeps me busy. I also got married recently, um, and I just got back to California, so I've just been spending time with my friends, and, you know, that, that's what can keep me busy. Do you think we'll get some music from you eventually, or that's just strictly a hobby? I don't know. I mean, I don't think yet I'm good enough to be on that um, that big of a stage yet in the music world. Mm -hmm. but I'm always up for a challenge. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, do you have any projects or major roles coming up soon? Ooh. 2019 is going to be a great year. Um, I have some big things planned. But nothing oh, I can speak yeah. on just yet. Just okay, yet. Okay. And um, I think everybody just needs to keep on, you know, watching. 
because it's going to be Oh, cool. yeah, we will. You, you're welcome to come back on the show anytime you want to promote anything you want to promote. So we got you. Awesome. I really appreciate that because I have some vitamin supplements. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hey, if you really did, though, we got you. So just send it no, over. Always to you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> now, um, as being well known as you were since you were a child into adulthood, uh, what has kept you grounded? Because there has been so many other child stars who, you know, end up being in the tabloids and not going down the good path, especially going into adulthood. So what's kept you grounded? Definitely, it's been my family. Um, like I said, I think you really need to have a group um, of people where you're still normal. Like, I mean, I've always taken out the trash at my house and, you know, help set up chairs for parties at the backyard. Like, mm-hmm. you need to have that because if you don't and if, you know, you're defined by your career, you'll go crazy from it. I totally agree with that. Um, when can we expect you to direct or maybe write some scripts, you know, get behind the scenes Ooh. in the industry? Man, I mean, I guess an actor, I mean, we kind of feel like we're the last hands to kind of get our our creative, um, like, work done on a project. So I really would hope that one day I could decide, you know, every Instead of, you know, if I'm going to hit my mark or what we say instead of if I'm going to say my eye correctly. And I think I could have some really cool ideas to bring to the table. And so that's a long-term goal for me. Okay, awesome. Now for my last question, before you go, can you please tell everyone uh, your social media info and, you know, where they can find you on the internet? <laughs> oh, love. Okay. And- Oh, that was social media. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, and social media, you can find me at Real Jeremy Spears. That's on Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Twitter. Um, basically everywhere. If you put in Real Jeremy Spears, you're different. All right. Thank you so much for coming on and just being yourself and giving us all these positive vibes. I love it, man. Hey, I really appreciate you guys for having me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to wear out to my too many of my clear answers on our, our long little free interview interview. But like I said, <laughs> I really enjoy talking with you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. All right. Thank you. It's your girl, Sharice, and I'm out. Digital Dope Radio. <laughs>